Generations ago, people had big gardens, and if they wanted more vegetables, they just planted bigger gardens. Uh, now we have smaller gardens, but sometimes we want more vegetables. And the way to get more out of even a small garden is really to get it into the fourth dimension. And that's what we're going to do now. The fourth dimension is, of course, time. And the way I use that in the garden to get more out of smaller space is I put time where it is not. By growing plants outside the garden for part of the time, it gets you more out of the garden, but also you get a more economical use of seeds. So I start out filling this up with potting soil. I'm, I'm sowing mini fields, and here's my field that I'm going to be sowing. And then I go and I take this other mix, peat moss and perlite, and I put that on the top because uh, I want the seeds that I'm planted to germinate. And then weed seedlings, they'll be snuffed out. And then I take my mini furrow maker, homemade, of course, and I press that into the soil. And I can put four different varieties. So here's a black seeded Simpson lettuce, Danielle lettuce, sweetie baby romaine, butter crunch lettuce. Just put a little pinch in that furrow. Close up each furrow, just cover the seeds. I always like to keep track of what I planted and when I sowed it. First of all, I put a pane of glass over it. And then I have this tray, and I'm just going to fill this up with water. The seed flat will sit there in the water for a little while. The capillary action will draw the water up. After about a day or so, I can take it out and just let the, uh, the flat sit there with the cover, waiting for the seeds to germinate. The reason for the glass is it's going to keep the moisture in there. This won't need any more watering now uh, till the seeds germinate. The time to prick out is when the seedlings have uh, got their first seed leaves. It'll be about a week after the seeds germinate, or maybe just a little less than a week even. What I like to use is uh, something that waters them automatically. It's called APS, Automatic Propagation System. Here's a, a water reservoir. Here's something to hold the plants above the reservoir. This is a capillary mat, very absorbent of water. Put that there, put that there. This is my homemade potting soil. You could use a commercial mix. I like to make my own. What I want to do is get rid of the excess soil. 40 plants can go here, so I can grow 40 plants for three weeks to a month before it's time to transplant them out of here. This is just a laboratory spatula. This is actually something called a dibble, which is really made for pricking out. Dibble a hole in here, and I go to my first seedling. Sometimes I take out a whole clump of them. And the important thing with these seedlings is you don't hold them by the stems. You always hold them by the leaves. If you damage the leaf, it's not that important. You damage the stem, and the plant's dead. So this is very intimate. Just, you know, you and the plants and the roots, and we're all very close now. And uh, it's nice because you get rewarded for it. As soon as finished uh, doing this, they need to be watered. And you can see some of these, uh, you know, they sort of knocked down. So I'm just waiting until I water everything, then I'll perk them up a little, go along each one. Otherwise, they just rot. I'll put this in a bright, but not direct sunny spot. And uh, after a few hours, or surely by tomorrow, I can put that in the sunlight and they'll be growing. And now it's a month later. So this is lettuce, it's October now. And the roots, they'll, they'll go right into the soil and they won't even know they've been planted. The plants will be very happy. You just pop them right out. Very easy to plant. This is a leaf lettuce so uh, it can go closer than the uh, head lettuces. So here we have the rewards of entering the fourth dimension here on the farm then. I could not have had this, I wouldn't have had space for it if I had just sown these from seed, but because I sowed them in the little seed flats for you know about a week, week and a half, while corn was growing in this bed, the plants grew, then they went to the uh, APS trays for about a month and a half or more, corn came out, I popped these lettuce seedlings into the places here, and now it's a month later, and you can see you got these really nice, beautiful heads 
Uh, I mean, they're so beautiful, I hate to pick them.